We're in downtown Milshoe, and it's Valentine's Day 2011, and our, 30, our 30th annual Mr. Valentine has been elected by you, our viewers of Channel 6. Our very first Mr. Valentines were Dr. Jerry Gregory and also um, Mr. Millsap, who drove the senior citizens van that year. And that was 1980. And Jerry Harrison of Milshu has been elected by popular vote last Saturday as Mr. Valentine. Jerry, you will receive gifts from Pat Young here at Family Hair Salon, Carolyn's Florals and Gifts, and they do ask that you come by today, please, and also support medical. And I imagine that uh, Diana can use some of them. I would imagine. <laughs> I would think so. Of course, Jerry Harrison was only one of our listeners who was uh, nominated. The other nominees were Roger Williams, Mike Griffin, Jinx Myers, Frank Werfline, and Judge Glenn Williams. And this is your certificate if you would take it by today uh, to Carolyn's, and she will give you something nice, and you could maybe share it. Don will be real proud of <laughs> I bet. Now, uh, Jerry, your sweetheart is who? Diana Harrison. And how did you and Diana meet? Uh, we met at uh, Eastern New Mexico University. Uh -huh. And she is from where originally? Uh, Gallup, New Mexico. Gallup, New Mexico. But when did you all, or when did you move Diana as Miss Jerry Harrison to Milshi? Oh, my again, that would have been about uh, probably 70, 71. Uh -huh. You all moved from where? From Portales. From Portales. And Diana does what? She's a teacher at Watson Junior High. And what is your profession? Uh, I am a jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> Well, what have you done so many, many years? Uh, my family was, and I have been the custom uh, harvesting business since 1943, I suppose. I can still hear Diana griping about cooking for all those men on harvest. <laughs> she did. She did a wonderful job. And uh, for somebody that uh, you should have seen her first cornbread, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, I think we got a picture somewhere, but between my mother and Bobby Harrison, uh, she picked it up pretty well and sure and made a lot of boys happy. Uh -huh. And how many uh, summers, now not just you, but your whole family have gone on uh, harvest? What year would it have started? Well, I, I was born in 44, and uh, I was told I made my first harvest when I was six months old. And uh, I inherited the business when my dad retired in 67. And your parents were whom? Uh, Walter and uh, Clara Harrison. Uh -huh. And they're both deceased now? Uh, yes. And your harvest usually would start where and end up where? Uh, we would normally start down the Crowell, Texas, Wichita Fall area. And, uh, and we would go as far... We've been as far as into the Montanas, uh, within a oh, hundred miles of the Canadian border, several times. Uh -huh. Where was your favorite place to go? Oh, I don't know the favorite place. I, uh, a place that stands out that we all used to go to was a little place called Pete's, Colorado. Is that right? And uh, we would go there, and of course, it. Uh, <laughs> it had a little place called the Hot Spot, which was a little bar, and and uh, even as a as a teenager, my mother pulled me out of there many a times for being in there playing pool, you know, and uh, that was that was the it was the hot spot of Pete's Colorado. That's all you can say about it, and uh, there wasn't, but maybe a. 100, 150 residents, you know, there, and, uh, and of course, when you went there as long as we did, uh, they were all friends, we knew them all, and, sure. and, 
but the uh, hot spot was the place in Pete's, Colorado, and I guess it stands out. is uh-huh. is probably one of the favorite places. Now you had brothers, and uh, who were your brothers? Uh, brothers were Ted Harrison and Donald Harrison. Uh-huh. And did they both go on the uh, harvest also? Oh yes. It was a family affair. It was it was a family deal, and and. Uh, they all went. The girls hated it probably the worst. Now, your sisters, tell me about them. Uh, my sisters were Narita Harrison and Janetta Precure, and and my youngest sister, Denise Harrison. I'm not sure she ever made a, uh-huh. she, she ever made a harvest. If, if it was, it was when she was very young. Uh-huh. Uh, she probably made a few, but uh, not to the extent of the older ones. Now, when we moved here, we loved history, our family. And my mother told me that you all lived, when we moved here, where Old Hurley or New Hurley was? Yes. uh, You know, uh, we used to find, when I was a kid, down kind of by the railroad tracks where the Terra Fertilizer is. Uh We we used to find... CHS. (laughs) Is it CHS now? Well... Uh, it was Terra, and, uh, you know, back when. But anyway, it we used to find a lot of bricks uh-huh. down there. You know, we'd plow and stuff, and there was, and and I guess that's where it was was down. And there was rumors that you know that that's where they were going to originally build Muleshoe, and mm-hmm. for some reason, well, it, the it, railroad came yeah. and missed Old Hurley and New Hurley. Yeah, I, I suppose. Of course, the railroad's right there by that. But so. that was a long way in those days. Yeah, and of course. Out here, by where I live now, north of Mulesh, there, there's there's a there's a sign there that, and I don't know whether that's New Hurley or Old Hurley. I think that's Old Hurley. Yeah, I guess that it was, but, uh, uh, but there were I guess buildings that they started there and were uh-huh. were going to build a town. Uh-huh. And the railroad came through, and of course they actually moved the town. And one of the buildings was the old church that was brought into Milshew to the railroad uh, center where the depot had been built, and it was pulled on an old Rumley tractor. Do you know what a Rumley is? Uh, no. I've, I think I've heard the name, but... That's actually a brand, and they actually put it on skids and pulled it in, and, and the sand between here, oh, Hurley and uh, Milshew, it got stuck a couple of times. Well, that... That's not surprising. That's the pioneer spirit. Now, you've reared your three daughters in Milshew. Uh, yes. And who are they, and where did they live today? Well, my oldest daughter is Polly Van, and she, her and her husband, Randy, live in Littlefield, Texas, and she owns a business in Lubbock called VTEC Environmental. And, uh, and my middle daughter is, uh, she's a school teacher, and she's Amy, uh, <laughs> uh, Lackey. Lackey. I'll help you. Out. You got you got me frustrated here. Uh, Amy Lackey, and she's a school teacher in uh, Tyler, Texas. She has three children. Polly, the oldest, she has two boys, and uh, my youngest daughter, Brandy West, she lives in uh, San Angelo, and she has she's in the insurance business. So, how many uh, grandchildren? Five. Five. Five grandchildren. Well, we want to congratulate you as being our 30th annual Mr. Valentine Jerry Harrison and uh, gifts from Family Hair Salon. Pat, can you come and give your gift? And also from Carolyn's Florals and Gifts and also support medical right down the street from Pat. Pat? There's you a gift certificate for $25. Your choice, whatever you want, or your wife. We'll put it that way. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> thank welcome. you. And thank you, Pat. And we're here at Family Hair Salon with our 30th annual Mr. Valentine, who was nominated, by the way, by Dal Whalen. You have a lot of friends, Jerry. We'll tell you that. Oh, uh, <laughs> are they really? I <laughs> know. Uh, and uh, they're they're appreciated and they know it